you have Gene Editing, you have Gene Saki, you have Gene Sis, and you have... That's what I'm going to say, all right? So who... And you're under a communist regime. That's the genius of Satan. Genius. The genius of Satan. And I think they're going to come out first before the Antichrist. Why? Gene Saki. I, a little bird told me that you said you might be retiring and resigning the job this year. Say this. I, you know, I, I don't know when I'm leaving. Uh, this is an honor and a privilege. And I love working for President, Ob President Biden every single day. I love spending time with him, hearing what's on his mind. Actually, going on the road with him is really the best thing possible. I wish yeah. everybody could have that experience because he gets so much joy out of it. No really identified like in a court of law that there's two serpents side by side. Now, imagine you're me. And the Lord tells you, Jonathan, look from the other side. Imagine you're me. And serpents, side by side. Now, imagine you're me. And the Lord tells you, Jonathan, look from the other side. Like Google Earth. So I had Dave the Wave go on Google Earth. I said, grab me some images. And then as he was doing it, I looked and I'm like, I better go on Google Earth myself. And I went, oh my God. There is both serpents, one, the king and the queen. See it, male and female. Here's one, and here's the other one. And it's right by the sea as well. That way it can rise up from the sea. One right behind another. Do you think the Catholics worship the Virgin? The Virgin female. One was the archetype. The first one was female. Parthenogenesis, self-fertilized, started more, transgender, interbred, populated, God's angels that wanted to participate in the host body system. Come on in. So you come on in and you're inverted. There's a good you and there's a bad you. So that's what the Antichrist is going to do. The Antichrist, he has another covenant that I'm going to show you. That's why I wrote two here. May 27th, this, this one. 2022. So he's going to confirm this, but he's lying behind the scenes and then has a backup, a different covenant set up. He's lying behind And you're reading it, and then when the preacher or teacher is explaining it, you look at the verse and see, is it matching? Is it making sense? Because like I said a thousand times, I could be lying to you. Just like all those other preachers that lie to you, right? So you have to look at the verse. Two days later. And it's this one. So he's going to confirm this, but he's lying behind the scenes and then has a backup, a different covenant set up. But let's keep read. Go back to Zechariah 11. I hope your hand's there. That's the first one he broke, right? As Zechariah 11? Beauty, right? Which we read. He's going to break the other one now at verse 14. Bans, okay? Verse 14, verse 14. Does the Antichrist come out again? Yes, he comes out again. Look at verse 14. Then I cut asunder mine other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a who? Foolish shepherd. Jesus is the great shepherd, right? Amen, amen then who would be the wrong shepherd, the foolish shepherd? That's, the that's not Christ, that's Antichrist. But look at the language here. This is Antichrist. Look at the language here. Verse 16. For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land which shall not visit those that be cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that 
that standeth still, but he shall eat the flesh of the fat and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. For some of you who didn't know, verse 17 is a passage used by a lot of Bible scholars about the Antichrist getting assassinated. Yeah. So notice the Antichrist is involved right here. Antichrist is involved right here. The second time. The second time. How about... Just lay on my heart. Step back and be still. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a lot of truth. Um, just sitting here... March 9, 2018. Asking Yahweh the path in which we should go, what we should do with the new channel. And the Lord, they knew him, that they knew him, said that they believed in him. They had to use Judas. But what happened to Judas before the Sadducees and the Pharisees could use him? Chapter 22, verse 3. Of Luke. They entered Satan unto Judas. Then entered Satan unto Judas. Surname Iscariot. Being uh, the number of the twelve, Satan entered into Judas. The second time. How about that? Then what's this second time here? One time, the Antichrist made a covenant. 30 pieces of silver, right? Yeah, real quick, a spotter report. 30. Y'all squad cash. Is that 30? It's the, the amount total. Not looking good. Things are looking better, but they're not looking good. Um, go ahead, Carly. Yeah, real quick, a spotter report is um, is reporting major damage, houses destroyed and lock it. And we're hearing from Vince that it looks like there could be some injuries um, associated with that van. Uh, damage coming in, and possible injuries uh, down here in Lockett. Look at your shoulder. Uh, and uh, yep. help people by... Uh, purchasing stuff, we have the ability to do that because you guys are so. If he entered into Judas, did he even have God any? I mean, Judas was one of the 12. He was one of the ones that followed Jesus from the very beginning of his ministry all the way up to deceiving him. And Judas believed that he was righteous. Jesus knew his heart. The Antichrist made a covenant, 30 pieces of silver, right? To betray Jesus. So this is all Zechariah 11, 7. Look at this. Zechariah 11, 7. When those two things are broken, the Antichrist makes a covenant at the same time. When God breaks his covenant, the Antichrist makes his own covenant. One was Judas Iscariot, 30 pieces of silver, betraying the Lord. So in this system, is it just one person that plays Judas? Well, yeah. However, being a Judas can be multiple people. Multiple people could have got paid 30 shekels, and that was the covenant that the Antichrist made like 42 months ago. The book of Luke. Uh, Matthew, actually. Go look at the book of Matthew. Matthew. Now, Judas Iscariot, if you know your Bible... He is going to be the Antichrist, okay? Mm -hmm. So notice that the Antichrist shows up in the first advent of Jesus Christ. Look at the book of Matthew. And then we'll look at uh, chapter, let's see here. Uh, I wrote down the verse, but then I lost it here. Okay. Influence is on me. This guy's a better influence. Okay? You have a familiar spirit, Robin, and unto wizards that peak. That See how my name keeps coming out of his mouth? That's from the word of God. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? I hear what you're saying, but I don't want to listen to it. 
anybody with the familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and hunter and who are forbidden to God's people. He's talking about gematria. Whether you can decipher that or discern, whatever you want to call it. It's discern. That's what he's saying. So look at uh, the book of Luke. Uh, Matthew actually good. look at the book of Matthew. Matthew. Now Judas Iscariot, if you know your Bible, he is going to be the Antichrist, okay? So notice that the Antichrist shows up it's like a, in the first advent of Jesus Christ. The first. It's a it's like all right, so this it's like the cast, the movie the or the series of cast. All right, Judas, he's going to be the Antichrist, okay? Uh, you, all right? Look at the book of Matthew. And then we'll look at uh, chapter, let's see here. Uh, I wrote down the verse, but then I lost it here. Okay, we're going to look at Matthew 26. Here we go. Matthew 26, verse 14. Matthew 26, 14. Now look at this. When God breaks, when, a, when God's covenant is broken... Can the devil make his own covenant at the same time? Yeah. Look at right here. Zechariah, covenant get broken, but then the Antichrist makes his own covenant. Look at right here, Matthew 26. Judas was one of the 12. He was one of the ones that followed Jesus from the very beginning of his ministry all the way up to deceiving him. Here, Matthew 26, based on 30 pieces of silver, right? Yeah. Matthew 26, 14. That one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they what? Covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. Go ahead, Carly. Yeah, real quick, a spotter report is... Um... Thirty. Ryan Hall, y'all. How about that? Now, obviously, I'm not saying that uh, the covenant in Zechariah is applicable to um, the first advent of Jesus Christ with Judas. But the point is this. The point is, is that when God breaks a covenant, at this, what God can do also, he can recognize that the devil will make his own covenant. So think about this. Common sense. Wouldn't the Antichrist in the future, it's, not, it's a no-brainer where he can break God's covenant while simultaneously he has his own covenant set up? The Antichrist, the covenant he's making that's coming up is going to be on the last week of the 70th week. So it'll be the 69th week. And he'll confirm that covenant for one week. And when you take these literal 70 weeks, which are which is like a year and some change, and then the final week being an actual seven days, the Antichrist Everybody's going to think that the covenant is going to be made for the next 42 months, three and a half years. But it's at the end of the 70th week of Daniel. Within that week's period of time. Is going to be involved with the Antichrist seven year covenant. What is the seven year covenant the Antichrist is doing? We know it's with the nation of Israel. How is this all tied together? Get ready for some fun tonight. All right, Daniel 9, 27. Here we go, all right? Daniel 9, 27. Let's go one by one here. The passage reads, and let me know if I'm out of bounds, okay? So the st standard teaching is this, and he, the Antichrist, shall confirm the covenant. So he's making a covenant with many, the Jews, for one week. So that's supposed to represent seven years. Supposed right? One to. day equals one year. I'm not going to get into that, but that's the standard interpretation from a lot of uh, preachers today. So let's just go along with that. In the midst of the week, so in the middle of the seven years, he, which is the Antichrist, shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. So that's the Antichrist in the middle of the covenant he makes with the Jews. He breaks it, and then he ruins and desecrates their temple. So, say 42 months ago, 
and coming up, the covenant made 42 months ago was a slick one. Satan made the covenant with all the Judases and paid them 30 shekels. It could have been a whole lot of different people playing uh, all together Judases. And then maybe the actual Judas himself hires all of these Judases to play his specific role because he's the one telling you to do. He's the one controlling you. He pays you. He gives you a YouTube channel. You get a you know, all the perks with that. Now, there are different people who have different opinions on this one. There are some who argue that in Daniel 9.27, it's actually the Lord, the Lord's covenant, not the Antichrist making a covenant. You might say, why? Because it says confirm. What does confirm mean? To make sure. That means there was already a covenant made. With already a covenant made it was for sure it was signed upon it was agreed it was accepted everyone took the deal and that was a covenant made if you do this you'll get paid this in the end covenant and then 42 months later maybe it's another covenant with another group with the jews why who is it why you just look at the context here if you look at the context at daniel chapter 9 notice that the context follows at verse let's see right here verse 12 the bible says and he hath confirmed what his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil look at verse 4 and I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the what? Covenant. So it seems to show right here this is God's covenant. Why? Of verse 24. God's covenant is verse 24. The 70 weeks for who? The Jews. Upon thy holy, peop upon thy holy city, upon thy people, Daniel. So this is God's covenant to Jews when we look at the context. It's 70 weeks, right? Well, guess what? The last week in that 70 weeks is verse 27. Didn't you know that? The last week in the 70 weeks is verse 27, guys. So that's included right here in the 70 weeks. Verse 27, that one week is in that number, 70 weeks. There's no doubt from the context all you have to read is verse 24 through 27. And that 70 weeks is God making that timeline for Jews. So that's why they argue that this is God's covenant. So there. Him agrees too. It's just one week. A literal seven days, this final covenant. Here's another reading here, which should be concerning. Um, a UN report from May 2021 20, called for more powers for who, saying in its current form, the who does not possess such powers to move on with the treaty, who therefore needs to be empowered financially and politically. That's what they said. So all the support must be given to them. How about that? This is pretty concerning right here. Reading here, which should be concerning um, a UN report from May 2021 20, called for more powers for who saying in its current form the who does not possess such powers to move on with the treaty who therefore needs to be empowered financially and politically that's what they said so all the support must be given to them how about that this is pretty concerning right here. This is pretty concerning right here. Save the date. So they have the power and the choice to do what they want to do. But this is a problem because let me give you uh, an example. This will infuriate any liberal or people who don't like Bible-believing Christianity. What if 
your country entrusted Bible Baptist Church with all the spiritual advice and regulations, what our constitution, our religious beliefs are. And the country... Our religious beliefs up here. ...tree entrusted us and their job, this is part of whose task, is that what they want to push is that the different countries that technically they're not butting into their sovereignty, but in the sense the countries are still obligated and mandated to report of, their, of my spiritual expertise, then what do you think the people in this country is going to do? Oh, it's okay, you know, uh, let them do that. No, they'll flip, won't they? We'll scream in liberals, we'll scream and get a heart attack. <sighs> What's wrong with me today? <laughs> I apologize. I don't know what my problem is today. I think I'm a little nervous about doing this show. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Keep reading. May 26th. That's today's news. The I talked about how it was like Pandora's box and is intensely interesting. I don't know how the pieces connect here, but I'm opening up Pandora's box where people can connect. I think that when the Antichrist makes this kind of covenant with that relates to who? Pandora's box has been opened, if you will. Something that I, you know, sometimes I get kind of caught up in a moment, like, I pray and I start to think and then I just, I'll tweet something kooky, you know? Because God's covenant won't be blessed through the Antichrist when something abominable happens. No, that don't apply to the Antichrist. It only applies to Christ where it cannot be broken. So then think about this. This verse is powerful where Christ confirms it cannot be broken. Imagine a person who claims to be that Christ. And says, I confirm the covenant. That's Antichrist, isn't it? See, the devil, when he reads this passage, what do you think he's thinking? How am I going to replace Jesus Christ? You're going to get something where these group of people are not going to go along with the Antichrist system. At the beginning, they do, though. That's why you see the nation of Israel really following the Antichrist system right now. But when he confirms it, he betrays them. Because the Antichrist sets up an image to worship, and it's all connected to that. They're not going to follow along with that, especially when Moses and Elijah and the 144,000 in the tribulation start to send the revival and open the Jews' eyes. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sores. See? That matches well. This can apply to the Antichrist. Yeah. For he's deceiving and breaks the covenant. And he tricks the Jews. He tricks the Jews. Is this making a lot more sense now? <laughs> so he's going to confirm this, but he's lying behind the scenes. Look at the verses, and you're reading it, and then when the preacher or teacher is explaining it, you look at the verse and see, is it matching? Is it making sense? Because like I said a thousand times, I could be lying to you. Just wrote two here. It's this one. So he's going to confirm this, but he's lying behind the scenes, and then has a backup, a different covenant, set up. That's 
covenant. But what he's going to do is, at the same time, he's lying. He, what he's going to do is break the covenant. Of, their, of my spiritual expertise. I'm just getting started. I'm just giving you Okay, you get uh, President Xi Jinping, okay, from China. One. Two, Vladimir Putin, Russia. Three, Angela Merkel, who has power and connections with the EU de facto leader, European Union, okay? Then you get, uh, let's see right here. You also have Narendra Modi in uh, India. Then you get Mohammed bin Salman al Saud, that's Crown Prince Mohammed. Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Elon Musk, Pope Francis, Joe Biden, <laughs> you know. So, but the point is you get the President of the United States, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you get Bill Gates. Okay, these are supposed to be the top 10 people. If you had your, one guy had his paws on all 10 of these, yep. wouldn't you control the world? Yep. You, see, that's why the uh, people are saying, we're still a democracy, it's still a democracy. Yeah, in 10 parts. Yeah. Then you need one guy in charge of that. Then and you're under a communist regime. That's the genius of Satan. Communist regime. That's the genius of Satan. In the beginning of Genesis. Uh, Genesis. And I think they're going to come out first before the Antichrist. Why? He does raise concerns about the over-dependence on private donations. Gates. Most of the funding okay. Gates provides to the WHO is tied to specific agendas of the foundation. That means that the WHO cannot itself set global health priorities and it is beholden to a largely unaccountable private actor. Unlike the states, right, United States government, that's the first biggest donor. Well, they all have their accountability, right? But not private. The Gates Foundation has little democratic accountability, unlike the So, Bill Gates. Do you imagine if all these YouTube channels are really the, the, the most famous people in the world and you get to communicate back and forth with them? So, I've... Kim, I believe, has talked about Bill Gates the most. And usually when someone's talking about someone the most, like when Jonathan Clegg talks about Lucifer the most, when Kim Jean talks about Bill Gates the most, when Jacob Israel talks about Elon Musk the most, when Jonathan talks about Barack Obama the most, States. Wow. And then that's why Gates launched a team called Germ. And he wants to uh, launch this group called Germ, where supposedly it's kind of similar to uh, who, what they were pushing with their treaty or the, what they were table talks, discussions were at least about. So the who, there's the 10, and then they take one person and they, they put him in charge. As the who, the T, and the who confirmed. It's, it's it's not like Kim isn't planning on standing in front of those words with the arrow pointing at his at his head sometimes, and being who, so he'll stand right here like with his head, so he can tell you who he is that how we're going to address the pandemic and it's about like tracking getting rid of the disease quickly and a lot and that's okay a lot of your privacy is out the window pretty much i already knew that but 
the leader of the who is supposed to get rid of the disease in the in the real world the pandemic and all that and then the who is in charge of the youtube spiritual police kind of a platform and who who's able to get rid of the diseases which is all the people that have been lying this entire time much even though they claim that your privacy is still re retained yeah no we don't have any but the title of the article is from the lancet you can look up at the lancet title of their article is offline bill gates and the fate of who that's what it says right here i has a huge hand old billy here has a huge influence if you don't believe me billy here influence if you don't believe me then mm -hmm. uh, you haven't been researching enough this is from politico and i quoted this before in other articles honey guess what i i talk to bill gates all the time on youtube right right yeah okay title of the article is meet the world's most powerful doctor bill gates Oh, doctor, huh? Dr. Gene Kim here. Dr. Gene Kim, Bill Gates. You might say why. Over the past decade, the world's richest man has become the who? Second biggest donor, second only to the United States government. Wow. Okay, Congratulations, that's huge. Okay. Bill. Bill Gates? This largesse gives him outsized influence over its agenda, one that could grow as the U.S. and the U.K. threaten to cut funding if the agency doesn't make a better investment case. Oh, and aren't you also behind the other mask of... Follow it up with, Lord, I receive your freedom. Lord, thank you for your, thank you for your wholeness. Lord, thank you that I am free. Not I'm going to be free. I'm hoping one day to break the addiction. I'm really struggling in this area. No, it's already happened. When you prayed, you not only believed, but you received it. Kind of like how Trump did, right? About, I'm going to back off from who, and then who do you transfer the power to? Think about that for a while. They can have more power. Okay. Now... If we were to use our heads here, I guess I'll drop the bomb right here, okay? If we were to use our heads here, I guess I'll drop the bomb right here. Covenant, right? Who is this prince of the covenant? Who is this prince of the covenant? Look. Who is this prince of the covenant, right? Who is this prince of the covenant? Look at verse 23. That's no doubt the Antichrist. And after the league made with him, see, the ant, uh, there, there's a covenant, right? The league that's made. He shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with the small people. Does that shall work deceitfully? Because like I said a thousand times, I could be lying to you. If what Robin says is true. The league made with him. See, the ant, uh, there, there's a covenant, right? The league that's made. He shall work deceitfully. For he shall come up and shall become strong with the small people. Does that sound like God or does that sound like the Antichrist to you? Sounds like the Antichrist, right? Okay, so we can see this is the Antichrist. But yeah, 28. And by the way, this treaty has to do with being rescued and avoiding a P or a disease or a widespread wow. disease. That's what this covenant entails. Damning it better when you can zoom up on it if you take a picture. I don't, I don't know who's watching. How, I mean, the frame of reference Who? of all the people that who's would watching? be looking like, oh my God, this is nuts. But I'm trying to qualify it by showing, look, this is my background. 
My background's impossible. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. My, with my background? It's like the Lord Taylor made the job for me. Taylor made the Lord Taylor made the job for me to deliver it because my background bears witness to everything I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is the building they're singing in right here. It's a serpent wearing a freaking crown. That means the serpent's the king. So really fully understand where they're singing and what they're doing. Okay, so this is the building they're singing in right here. It's a serpent wearing a freaking crown. That means the serpent's a king. So this is the king serpent, and they're right under this crown singing. And right here, the mouth of the serpent that they're singing towards happens to be a penis and a vagina and a dead sheep and a bunch of angels melting into semen. Probably no big deal. Okay, did you hear what I said? This upside down cross is where, get it, upside down cross falling, you know, upside down cross that turns into a serpent. You're going to watch guys inside that building right now singing to Lucifer, dawning his own creation, starting the earth. M, the one, exterminating sun, slipping through the trees. Oh, like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Strangling the breeze. Strangling your life essence. Do you get it? Breeze. The word tree spirit of good and means evil. breath. Strangling the breeze. Dead I am the sky watching angels cry. I think the word antichrist means one that's like Christ. No, it means one that's anti-Christ. The opposite of Christ. It'll be the incarnation of of that reptilian that's race what this in a host body. That's what the Antichrist is. You know that? It's that's the, what the incarnation make. of the That's why it's related to Christ. I see that. Antichrist. We got Isaiah 28. Is that? Now remember, Bible study is boring. Okay, down. maybe we should end it right here and go home, right? Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. Because this is, uh, for some of you who don't know, this is about the tribulation, the covenant. Okay, look at this. Because ye have said... We have made a covenant with what? Death and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing what? Scourge. That's that huge widespread disease. Shall pass through. It shall not come unto us. That's the Antichrist make that covenant. We have made lies our refuge. Yeah, because he always lies reading it and then when the preacher or teacher is explaining it you look at the verse and see is it matching is it making sense because like i said a thousand times i could be lying to you just like all those other preachers that lie to you right so yeah antichrist is. it's the incarnation of the antichrist that antichrist christ is up antichrist down Antichrist against Christ. Yeah, I just showed it to you. That's one guy doing it. Let's watch another one. Let's nail this cop and shut on him. TV. Philly, Philly. Flamas eius, Lucifer matutinus in veni. That's a serpent strangling a sheep. That's a girl hugging a guy in downtown Grand Junction. Mm -hmm. How the hell is it turning into a serpent strangling a sheep? It's in downtown Grand Junction. The word poor is to destroy 
the poor in secret. The word poor, let me. As like the hair of hair, like the hair of a woman. the dotted line with this contract, but then they have another contract that you didn't know about that they want to sneak and use up on you. That's what the Antichrist is going to do. The Antichrist, he has another covenant that I'm going to show you. That's why I wrote two here. I wrote, I'm going to show you. That's why I wrote two here. It's this one. So he's going to confirm this, but he's lying behind the scenes and then has a backup, a different covenant set up. But let's keep read. Go back to Zechariah 11. I hope. Lucifer, this portion here. The head. It's like teeth and a mouth opened up and his eyes. Add on. Maybe his ears above him. Even this looks like a scorpion stinger. And a bird flying. So this looks like the cut area where these used to be down here when everything is turned inside. It just looks like a surgical cut at the bottom portion. And then those two, your children, are lifted up higher like that by a group called the Kinks. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the Kinks posters, but they're portrayed as like two females many times where one female is dressed to look like a man. Now, the song that you're about to hear is called Lola, L-O-L-A, Lola. She talked like a woman, but walks like a man, Lola. She talked like a woman, but walks like a man. Oh, my Lola. Lola is really a woman or a dude in drag, which is what Lucifer is. Lucifer is really a dude in drag, male and female. I wonder where the term dragnet comes from. I wonder where the term drag comes from. I used to go watch drag shows back in the day with my girlfriend. We used to go to bars and crack up and say, okay, we had friends that were, you know, in them. You ever think about these words? Where do they come from? Now, enough of that. Here's Lola. It's about a song. I mean, it's a song about a guy that meets... He thinks it's a girl, but it's really a man in drag. It's really profound. You see, Christ's kingdom was not of this world. If it was, wouldn't his disciples fight for him in that world for that? In this world itself? Not the earth, just the world. The holy covenant. Ear, ear, nose, open mouth. The whole thing's a dragon. Drag. Dragon. It reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. The the ghost, or who are you going to call? Where here's like the breast part 
shirt up the top, the shoulder blades, and then the hands seem to be behind the back, like both of them are behind the back, with the opening in, in between the arm armholes. And like this is the inside. This is where breast milk comes from. Uh, there's a shortage of breast milk. So it's milk produced from the inside of the body, the host body, where Kleck's talking about Lucifer being just a, a dude in a drag as a, as a chick. But inside of the stomach is that, that scene from the Ghostbusters where they're all inside of the Statue of Liberty and there's all goo and stuff that is like falling down from going up. So it looks like this is like that body portion of it. The breast of the woman right there. And then the, the uh, waist, stomach. Looks like there's like a woman here dancing. Middle, her hands are about over her head. Like the, like the center of attention here. And this guy with his tail wrapped around the end here. He's kind of like sitting there watching it. Just looks like everybody's all around it. Looks like this is someone sitting on a chair, each leg. But then the one head's going this way and the other head's going that way. Like a dual split twin system. Or is that a, the head of a Another dragon with this scorpion the stinger. There's the eye of the dragon and he's got his mouth. And he's eating an angel with that legs of the angel hanging out of the green dragon's mouth. That's eating an angel. That's from a band named Led Zeppelin. Makes it Why look like a. This? Makes it look like the mouth of a serpent eating it. With the legs sticking out. Also has hair, hair like a woman. A dragon with this being the eye. There's the eye of the dragon and he's got his mouth and he's eating an angel with that legs of the angel hanging out of the green dragon's mouth. That's a dragon eating an angel. That's from a band named Led Zeppelin. Why is the Z and the P, why is the angel holding on and slipping off the Z and the P? I know why. Because a lead Zeppelin cannot fly. He is 16. See? 26, 16. What is the angel holding? Z, 26, 16. So, I'll look that up in Strong's in the Bible. And I'll give you what the message is. Because the Lord told me how to read their language. Just like I, robot. Kata Dynasteo. 26, I exercise power over, I overpower quell, treat, treat harshly. Kata means down, intensifying to dynastias rulership. That the Led Zeppelin freaking angel is really a dragon eating an angel. I overpower, treat harshly, dominate. It's the dragon destroying an angel. That's the name of a band, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin served. Mm. Maybe Satan? See, do you understand what you're seeing? Do you understand? So if you hate L, you're going to really hate Emmanuel because L is the father and Emmanuel is with us as L, the father. That's why they hate him so much because guess who showed up in their system? Uh, if I had not not done among them the works which no other man did, they had had not sinned. But now they have both seen and hated both me, so now they've hated Jesus and the Father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled. So now Jesus is saying that this is coming to pass, that the word will be fulfilled, that is written in their law. Do you understand 
Elohim is under the law. The flesh is under the law. That's why you have to be born of the Spirit. Because it might be fulfilled that is written in their, their law. They hated me without cause. That's why you're getting so much resistance, Robin. Resistance For they have no light or truth in them. No truth. I have truth. Oh, okay. You and SJD don't have truth. Oh, thanks. Who's? Sure looks like it. Here's my cross. You need to pick up no wood cross and be out here looking and showing folks how holy and religious we are. Oh, look at me. I went down to Lowe's. You got me some two by fours and put some nails in it so I can show you how religious I am. Hey, guys, look at me. Look at me. I'm out here suffering. Please. Please. Please get over yourself. Period. Mm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. What does that make you? Jesus? When you say the world is crucifying you, what does that make you? Jesus? You better fucking be careful what you say. Really be careful what you say. Looking talking about Psalm 35, verse 19. Ready? Let them that are mine enemies. Look, let not them that are my enemies wrongfully. Look at the word wrongfully. An untruth, a sham wrongfully rejoice over me neither let them wink um but the, the real truthers come together as one on the special uh occasion where they celebrate the demons yeah on on a uh, halloween where they celebrate the that hate me without a cause. So Jesus was referring to Psalm 35, 19, when he said, they, this bring it to pass, what is written in their law, they hated me without cause. You know? You had it right the first time around. You did. And I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. I refuse. Tell me to move on, right? Or why would you be told to tell me to move on? Is the real question. Why would you be? Why would you be told to tell me to move on? Liar, Henry tease Henry get get smashed again. Robin T's propagate and lies, slander, defamation. I found Jesus for you, Robin, Tyler, and Justin. Let's keep digging with true words. Let's reprove words of one of Robin Hood's subscribers. You're a delusional accuser, Robin Hood. Welcome to uh, Tex Jewish Mafia, Texas, Philly, New York. You're in the family there. Even watched. And... But I already understand what he's up to. That's that's the thing about it is back on December 19, 2018. It sometimes it's tough to stomach his videos. Robert. Just like you guys that are paid, you, it's that's why you, that's why you have a, a strong hatred towards me because you hate listening to me, but you have to. That hate me without a cause. So Jesus was referring to Psalm 35, 19, when he said, they, this bring it to pass, what is written in their law, they hated me without cause. You know? If what Robin says is true, and you this whole time have been a part of some evil agenda, and they have promised you something and given you knowledge, or what have you, or maybe that they've 
told you and I'm saying if, I'm not saying for sure, or maybe that they've told you that you are the good guy, that you are going to be this elevated figure in, in, this, in this whole end times deal. Covenant, right? That's open as the pit looking at you. That's why. Ready? I wonder what he's doing. It's really Lucifer and drag is what you're looking at right here. What's coming out of that? A bug? Well, I mean, obviously what that is. 